Oh, you don't see that? All right. Hey, you guys. This is Bridget, aka Blazefur, over on YouTube. And Eco Smidge here in the chat, actually. It's very tricky. I have three different uh, names here. So today, today I am going to be streaming Sly 3, Honor Among Thieves. Um, let's get Let's get started here. I'm going to be playing it on the HD collection because it looks better. I do have the PlayStation 2 version, but rather do this. Still got quite a few of you in here, so that's also exciting. Did you guys like the debate? <laughs> I realize it only lasted for about an hour, but still pretty entertaining nonetheless for for as long as it lasted. Oh, there we go, Shadow Slayer. Uh, thank you. Thank you, guys. Yep, that's hashtag Jeff. Um, so, during this segment, which is going to be three hours long, I'm going to be doing a giveaway. So, forever, every five U.S. dollars you donate, you will be entered into a raffle to win a brand new PlayStation 3 copy of Assassin's Creed 3. I've actually got it sitting right here next to me. So just $5 and my brother Joe, or Joe the Happy Bean in the chat, will be keeping track of the donations and uh, we'll use a random number generator to pick a winner at the end. So I don't think there's any way we can speed this part up. Okay, and if you're going to donate to enter the raffle, uh, why don't you guys, in the little description, type hashtag do it for Jeff, just so we know that it's for my giveaway, and just so it's easier for Joe, because it could potentially get hard to sort through every single one and try to figure out whether or not you guys are trying to enter my giveaway or not. Okay, so... We'll see how much of this game we can get done in three hours. And also, yesterday, uh, I was filling in, doing a bit of streaming, and apparently, I'm if I don't die, I can win points for Team PlayStation. So, I, I'm not sure what's going on there, but I'll try not to die anyways. <laughs> no promises. Yeah, Assassin's Creed 3 is too much fun. That's why you guys should donate. To, you can win a free free copy of it. I would totally want a free copy of it. I think we have to wait for yeah this to fall down. Okay. And come on up here. So how many of you were in my stream last night or the night before or the night before? I streamed Deadlock for a while last night, which was fun. It was fun. Yeah, I do. I recognize Shadow Slayer. You've been here, like, the entire time, huh? And Hanson Josh. Jeez, I was getting worried you wouldn't be here, Hanson Josh. No kidding. So this is a pretty cool intro level. <laughs> I really, I really enjoy it. It's not too slow, like... I was complaining about in Uncharted. It's actually just just the right pace for me, at least. Now I'm assuming most of you, maybe not most of you, but some of you have played the Sly Cooper games before. If so, let me know in the comments what your favorite uh, game in the series is and why. So I'm definitely interested to know. I would have to say mine is... Uh, the first Sly. <clears throat> and again, I don't have any in-game audio. I haven't been able to figure that out. So, you know, maybe next time, whatever. It's more important that I get the mic working anyways. So, here comes uh, Dr. 
what's a what's a majiggy baboon face dr baboon face with his henchman What is the stream title? Are they gamer stay for Pokemon Showdown? <laughs> um, quite honestly, I am streaming this through XSplit, so I don't know uh, if I can change the stream title. I guess if I logged in through Twitch, I could. Hopefully, uh, one one of maybe one of the mods in here can help me out, because. Honestly, I, I, I'd have to stop and try to log in and change it. Yeah, I saw uh, that Pokemon Showdown was already had already happened. I was a little bit confused by that. I'm sorry to hear that, Hanson Josh. I hope that your German Shepherd gets better. And thank you, Seva. <laughs> So, I believe we're going to head over this a ways and continue this little intro level where, let me see if I can turn on subtitles, music, camera, no, I don't know. I'll just, I'll just go without them for right now. If you guys know how to turn on the uh, subtitles, let me know. It's a lot easier to do that in Uncharted, apparently. Uh-oh. We're being attacked. So, how many of you even have a PlayStation 3 and can participate in the giveaway here? Just out of curiosity. Oh, I'm not... I... One, two, three. Okay. That's a pretty, pretty nice code he has going here. One, two, three. It seems like someone would have broken in already. You have no money, I'm sorry. Well, maybe you could uh, just let your friends know. Oh, you do? You already have it? Okay. Well, you know, if like only one of you enters, you're you're guaranteed to get it. Just $5. You could get a $5 game. That's pretty good. A $5 new game. Oh, there are subtitles on. Okay. I... I don't think you can skip cutscenes in this uh, game, or any of these games. I don't know about Sly 4, but... Yeah, I ended up with an extra copy of Assassin's Creed 3. So we had already gotten one for Xbox, and then when I got a new PlayStation, it actually came with the PlayStation, so... There's an extra one! And also, speaking of giveaways, if you guys haven't heard or seen the banner at the near the top of our website um, giving away a PlayStation 4 and all you have to do to get that is to donate five euros I believe which is about six dollars and sixty three cents I think we decided so yeah you could win a six dollar and sixty three cents PlayStation 4 I would love to do that. There's quite a few entrants already. Uh, although I haven't looked, I haven't looked in a bit, so that number could have increased. We're running pretty fast right now. Yeah, they're giving away Pokemon X and Y too, which is awesome. You could also win that for six dollars and sixty-three cents in U.S. Uh, dollars. Got handy dandy grenades here. Wow, I just realized this is the earliest that I have streamed. I keep I keep coming in at like 1 uh, a.m. my time, Pacific Standard Time, and not and uh, people are in need of like a replacement streamer for a little bit. So that's what I've been doing it, and then my other regular time was from uh, 10 to 1. So we got a cool achievement. I don't think I've played this game on the HD collection yet. I'm fairly sure. I might have started a file on a different like profile but... Yeah, 
things that you can pause the cutscene and then skip it. Oh, can you? I will try that. I think I might have just broke it though. Oh, maybe not. Blah blah blah. This is something he knows what it's like to have life flash before your eyes. <laughs> yeah, I w I just tried. I just tried to skip it. I'm trying to press pause right now. I don't think you can skip these ones. Maybe you can skip the interactions there. Yeah, I do get the graveyard shift, but it's it's a ton of fun actually late at night. I don't know what it is about it. So right now we kind of get the general yeah, synopsis of the Sly Cooper series that's in every single game pretty much. Just Sly talking about how he met his friends. Stuff like that. Very, very general. Yeah, cutscenes are cool. They're just not as cool when you don't have sound for them and then you can't skip them, but there's pretty pictures, so I guess that's good. That's good. They're stealing stuff. And Bentley. Poor Bentley. Hey, Otto. And for those of you who don't know, which sure is not that many, but, uh, the whole point of this game is for Sly Cooper to get back into his family vault, which is what we just saw right there. It didn't go too well, but essentially he's trying to gather a gang, a bigger gang than his regular gang, so that he can pull it off and not fail miserably. Even though from the looks of it, it, it just did go pretty, pretty bad. So that's where the vault is, and that's pretty exciting, and here's, here's our evil, evil man, Dr. Baboon Face. That's what I like to call him anyways. Hey Otto, do you think you could change the stream title, or did it get changed already? Because apparently it says Pokemon Showdown on it. And so we got Sly Cooper spying, spying out with his signature uh, binoculars there. Very dramatic, dramatic shot there. Hopefully get back into the game here as we see the title screen flashing multiple times for more drama. Okay. Let's I think that did it. Okay, yeah, we know when it's saving. Taking a while to get started on this game. Still saving. Okay, so I'm gonna start off in the hazard room, which is, I mean, pretty self-explanatory from its title. It's basically a training room because for some reason Bentley thinks we need to go ahead and like get back into shape to be super sneaky and steal things. Yep, yep. Heard this all before. I think that might no, that didn't that didn't skip it. I think we'll just press the first button and probably have to like climb on top of stuff. Or just using the right analog stick. I find the hazard room a little repetitive just because I mean, obviously you know how to look left and right if you just played through that intro level. Like, I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt, unless... Uh, Bentley got in the wheelchair when... During Sly 2, uh, he, for some reason, was in Clockwork's mouth and it shut on his leg. I forget why. There was some sort of crash. So his leg essentially got crushed. Pretty much sucks. Sucks to be Bentley. Okay, I it's pretty easy to find that. I haven't died yet, guys. That's pretty good. I don't think you can die in the hazard room though. Yeah, he is a poor turtle. 
Yeah. <laughs> what Hanson Josh said is pretty accurate. <laughs> I've always kind of found Bentley annoying, but you, even with his wheelchair, his wheelchair is cool just because he can fly. He can, like, hover around, but... <laughs> Joe, what is that even... What, whatever. So we got Sly, like, kneeling down here. That's, I never noticed that he was that he was kneeling in this. That's kind of weird. I don't know why they want me to keep looking down. Oh, does he? Does Bentley have a big fan base? I never would have guessed that, quite honestly. Just because <laughs> everyone I know finds him kind of annoying. I don't know. His, I, I don't know. He's just always been my least favorite to play, but, you know, to each his own. I, am I supposed to, okay, I didn't make that jump. That's okay, I guess we can go up this way. That works. Cool. Now we have to go over to this one. See, pretty repetitive. It's not Bentley, it's the chair. <laughs> so they just want Bentley's wheelchair. Um, Joe, is the title changed? Let me refresh it. Let me refresh the page and see if it got switched up. <laughs> you used to know a turtle named Bentley? <laughs> yeah, the title's all good. Okay, the title's all good, I've been told. That's cool, since we're not actually playing Pokemon Stadium. I I guess you could just pretend we're playing Pokemon Stadium, but... Oh, you did... <laughs> I think if I ever got a turtle, I'd probably name it Bentley. Seems like a pretty good turtle name. Although, I don't know if I'd ever get a turtle. I'm sorry, this isn't Pokemon Showdown, Seva. <laughs> sorry to disappoint. Okay, obviously we can probably fit through that small, small opening there. This is like one of the most intense camera angles in the game. Under, crawling under things. Which is very important. Welcome back, Spy Crab. I like your username. Another job complete. Apparently all we needed to do was to crawl under that. Murray, uh, I don't know what Pokemon Murray would be. I don't know. Is there a hippo Pokemon? Maybe he could be Slowbro. There's not really a hippo, but... Or is there a hippo Pokemon? I don't know. Oh, there is one. Okay. hippo one. So we got a nice, okay, can start our next, our first official mission here, our first official episode, I guess, which I didn't see you had to press another button for, but we're going to get another cutscene. So, got to find Murray, actually. I forgot, Murray took off during, uh, after Sly 2. Uh, this block is three hours long, actually. Uh, it's f until ten. And you guys have until then to donate and enter the raffle. Which would be good. You could win. You could win big. If you donate like a buck thirty more, you can also enter the PlayStation raffle at the same time. So we got a cutscene here just kind of talking about why Murray left. Essentially he was blamed himself for what happened to Bentley and uh, took off to learn the ways of the wild in Australia or whatever it is. Have a spy crab 
do you know all the Pokemon from first gen to fourth gen? Just out of curiosity, because I know there's some people that do. I barely remember all the first and second gen, so. Right here is kind of just explaining this, this old chump. I don't remember his name, but he wanted to be an opera singer, but then no one liked opera anymore. And he was, he was mad about it. He was mad about it. That's really all you need to know about him. He's Italian also. I mean. <laughs> Aussie Jeff. What is that? <laughs> Are you saying that Jeff also went to train with the guru? Because I could, I could totally believe that. I mean. Jeff seems like the kind of guy who's down to earth in Australia. Yeah. Yeah. He should have. He should have. He wouldn't be all, all mad at himself if he had just become a rapper. Unless you're talking about Nathan Drake, which would probably be a better career choice than an opera singer also. Any, anything. Or even Drake Bell. He could have been Drake Bell. Any of which would have been better than an opera singer. So we kind of get an overview of this level. And get to see Sly running around. I, I don't really know why we need that overview of the level, but I guess it's kind of useful. And just more, we get to see Bentley like booking down this bridge with his wheelchair. Hmm. So. Hanson Josh, are you a Bentley fan then? Okay, so I'm gonna go see what our first mission is and also beat up that cat. No one really likes opera singer cats. Or opera singers. Unless you do, then I'm terribly sorry if I've offended you. Okay, police HQ. Hello, heading to police HQ. Okay. What's that sweet building? It's a giant globe thing? I'm gonna exit out of my stream window. See if... Just to let me know, because it looked like it was lagging a little bit. This is not quite as late as before, so... Obviously, there's going to be more people using the internet than at, like, 1 in the morning. So, it looks like we're going to be sneaking in to the police headquarters. Or Interpol headquarters, or police, I don't know. Carmelita happens to be, like, everywhere we go. So, like, no matter what police it is, even though she apparently works out of Paris. So, we're going to sneak in here. Oh, it didn't take too much just to climb up that rope. Okay, and I'm just going to drop down the middle of this building and hope nobody notices, I guess. And what do you know? That is not Murray. It's our buddy. Our buddy D Dimitri. Dimitri is pretty swank. Pretty swag delicious. I need to take off my jacket. So you guys can look at Dimitri for a second. Okay. So one cool thing we get to like talk to people, choose what you want to say, not necessarily talk to people. I'm just going to go ahead and say cutting the deal here, because I'm not, I'm not messing around here. I'm not messing around. Mm. Uh, yeah. Oh, wait, 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 that's not even the one you want to pick. Okay. Whatever, we can, we might as well try to convince him to go through the air vent. 
I never realized, I never understood why a lizard was bigger than, or an iguana. I don't know what he is, but why he would be bigger than a raccoon. Although Sly seems to be smaller than almost everyone in these games, except for Bentley. So... So, yeah, yep. Gonna go sneak in, just ruin Carmelita's day, per usual. It's pretty much how every Sly game starts. Completely trashing Carmelita's day, so... Just keep up the tradition. <laughs> Especially in Thieves in Time, if anyone's played that. Oh, I think it's... It might be a little important to hear sound in this, but I'm just going to go ahead and like crawl on the floor and... So I think the lights turn back on. Maybe back on the way out. Thinking on the way out. I'm just going <laughs> to... I don't know if you're supposed to crawl all the way near her. I guess so. Oh. And I guess they won't notice me. Seems like they would have noticed me, but apparently not. What's going on in the comments? Oh yeah. How many of you guys have played Sly 4? I don't want to spoil anything for anyone who hasn't gotten around to playing some of it or all of it. But uh, Bentley is a little bit better in Sly 4 and I also like his hacking mini games in Sly 4 just because there's a bigger variety of them. There's not just one like there is in a lot of the other games. So stay under the tables while the lights are on. Okay. That seems easy enough. I wonder if failing a mission counts as dying. It's hard to say. You don't really die, you just fail the mission. I'm going to go one table at a time just to play it safe here because it looks like this guy has got a cannon on his desk. Pretty sure he's going to shoot me down Sounds if he sees me. Uh, <laughs> okay. Sly 2 is, was good. I like Sly 2. I like Sly 1 just because it's short. I said that yesterday. For any of you who are here from like 1 to 2 yesterday, Pacific Standard Time. So, uh, I didn't, uh, I'm pressing triangle because I was playing Uncharted. But uh, we got the key. No biggie, we got the, apparently, okay, I remember this. I remember not being that good at this. Because you have to not keep going after it vibrates your controller and then I either go too slow or then I go too fast and it wants me to go this way again. Okay, that should work. I like how Sly doesn't even have to have his ear up to the safe. He can just can hear it from a distance. Okay, there we go. First try. Not too bad. Usually it takes me like at least twice. For some reason they're letting Dimitri smoke whatever it is he smokes in jail. I'm I'm not completely convinced that's just a cigarette, even though it may look like one. I mean, gotta admit, Dimitri is pretty much stone the entire time, or at least acts like it. So now we are going to keep up with our part of the deal, which is distracting all the cops so Dimitri can get out. And ruining Carmelita's presentation, pretty much. Which, who doesn't love to ruin her presentation every once in a while? I like how she's the first one who ran out. Like, none of the big gorilla guys even paid much mind to it. Okay, so, get a cool, fun, chasing thing uh, sequence here, I believe. Yeah, we do. Got some talking. Got some serious nerves. Serious nerve, not nerves. <laughs> I wish I could get the sound going. Carmelita has some of the best, like, I don't know, one-liners, responses to, to everyone 
who talks to her pretty much. Namely Sly, because he's usually the one talking to her, but... I didn't like Carmelita for the longest time, and... But I gotta say, in Thieves in Time, she's a lot more bearable for me. I guess mainly because you're not just running away from her. She, like, like spits out, like, really cheesy... Those cheesy, like, one-liners about having dinner with him in jail and so on and forth, getting to know her in jail. Although I did think it was funny in Sly 2 when they were in the helicopter chatting it up, flying around Paris multiple times. I like how she can't even shoot me when I'm running straight towards her. And then what do you know? Marie comes out of a gutter and Carmelita has terrible aim. <laughs> she can't even hit us when we're standing there. And, okay. Yeah. Thank you. So, Murray ended up finding us instead of vice versa like we thought. And who would have thought we would have run into him here? Not me. Not me. I was definitely surprised. So, do we have any donations yet? No? Oh, come on, guys. Like, at least one of you. Gotta give this game away. Okay, how about this? I believe that uh, Blue Blazing Demon did something like this yesterday. If you do not want the game, instead of the game, you can get a $25 online certificate to anything you want. PSN, eShop, whatever, Steam. I don't care. $25. All you have to do, give $5, donate, and you can get that if you don't want the game. If you want the game, you can have the game. Or, I don't know, maybe you can have both. You can have, if you have a PlayStation 3, because I really don't need this game. I don't need two. The game was good, but I don't need two. So, $5 and you can win the certificate. And that way people who don't have PlayStation 3 or already have the game can participate here. So Bentley just going over our game plan here to stop this tar from trashing all of this area. Since you know this guy can't let it go, he couldn't make it big in opera so now he has to ruin everyone else's life. Got a dramatic shot of Sly and Bentley there for some reason. Sly making a goofy face. And Bentley's PowerPoints are just great. Almost as good as his, like, iPad slideshows and Thieves in Time. When he gets all advanced with his technology. And I'm going to have to follow him around, I know. Do something in Interpol. Use binoculars. All that good stuff. Okay. See what we'll be doing here. Yeah, I, no, I really don't need that at all. But we'll play as Sly first in the Venice operation, day one. <laughs> okay, and there's a pigeon there. I really, I don't think we, I think we have to buy the power-up things again. I love the glider. I like how in Sly 4 you just got to start out with the glider. Makes it so much easier to navigate the levels. Uh-oh. Guess I can just... Oh. <laughs> I was gonna say, it would be weird if I could just totally jump over his spotlight. This is just an overall bad idea. Ow. I'll just run on the top of this building because I'm gonna die otherwise. Ow. Okay, not on the top of this building then. I'm not... I If I die right now... Not gonna be good for my no dying. I'm not even in a mission. Okay, I think I got rid of him. That was annoying. Okay. I think I ran towards my mission, unless I just ran in a big circle. That could have been it as well. <laughs> God, it didn't land on the bouncy thing there. Okay. And uh, there's also a I do not like the canal chase level. 
Bentley. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. Oh, you can't. I just figured out in slide one how you can move their heads in the binocucom when they're talking. Fortunately, you can't do that here. I don't know why it took me this long to figure it out, though. Oh, let's see. Let try to open the stream window. Let's see what's going on. Oops. Clicking everything. Okay. Spectre Fox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jake says this is his, uh, their second favorite game of all time. That's awesome. Second favorite game of all time. What's your first favorite game? Okay. So let's bring up the Binocucom and take pictures of this loser pumping oil into the river and into the canals. Luigi's Mansion. Luigi's Mansion. I've never played that. I've seen a Let's Play of some of it, but... I haven't seen it for my or played it for myself. I was kind of late coming on to the whole GameCube thing, so that's probably why. Uh, oops. Okay, that I guess works. Unless I walk right into him, I don't know where he where he just went. I'm gonna go back on the rooftop just in case. Oh, there he is. Okay. Try to go around this pigeon instead of going right into him, and that's not possible. I always like how even the bird henchmen will, like, fall off the cliff. And, like, <laughs> I guess it would be pretty annoying if they were just able to fly back on every time, but... Still, it's pretty funny. Not even the birds can fly. Then again, Bentley can't swim, even when he didn't have a wheelchair, nor can Murray... Who has no excuse, because he's not even a wheelchair. I'm going to just take a really retarded picture right here, I think. Right next to him. Maybe not. I'll go back here. Maybe that'll work better, because then when he turns around, I won't just get caught instantly. I don't know why this is a good picture. That's a little better. I actually got him in it. Okay, there we go. Uh, I love the way he runs here. Pretty nice. You can't even see his head because this is that giant hat. He's jogging across. I don't know how stealthy you need to be during this mission. I know for a lot of these missions where you're tailing someone, you got to be pretty sneaky, but he hasn't even noticed when the guards come flying off right in front of him like that just, just happened. So it's really hard to say, and... I think there's a guard over there, yeah. Just go around this way. Right behind him. Because why not? And probably because this guy is going to totally just ruin my day. Oh, he didn't notice. Okay. That's kind of surprising. And we're going to take one more photo, I think, of him. Oh, geez. Of him pumping oil. I don't know why he needed to... Oh, and we have to get on a boat for this, just to mix it up here. Uh, so let's get our camera in position, and quick pick. All these pictures look exactly the same. I don't know how that's helping. Uh, just ride back around. Oh, we're not done. I think I can jump. There we go. Jump onto that sweet, like, water thing. I don't know why I can't remember what that's called. <laughs> just call it a water thing. That works. I didn't, my strike just went straight through that guy and on to him. <laughs> wow. Okay. Is my stream lagging at all, Joe? Oh. It looks all funky on my computer, but that could be because... My computer looks funky. Uh, so he doesn't notice when we're right behind him, but he does notice when we hit an enemy onto his head. 
Okay. I'm just making sure because I can always uh, shut out of my stream window. I just like to have it open so I can see you guys' comments. Okay, sneaking up. Not really sneaking, just following him in general. Uh-oh. Like, kind of look to the side on that one. Um, so I'll go through here and catch a boat over here. Since I don't think getting on a boat and trying to hop on one like backwards will help. When I fall in the water and just die. <laughs> okay, he's doing something, but what? Oh no, the aquarium. I don't know what kind of aquarium that is, but it's not one anymore. <laughs> yeah, pretty much opera singers, guys. They're trouble. Or trouble, you know that now. I've photographic proof of why you shouldn't trust an opera singer. So, oh, he's still at it. Jeez, getting on the Ferris wheel now. But we're gonna go latch on. Watch on here. Latch on and listen in. Should be fun. Okay. Let's go around this way. I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of this guy because he's not helping in any way, shape, or form. So, we got to wait for his cart. I'm pretty sure his cart's the only one you can... <laughs> Maybe wait. Maybe you got to latch on the other way, actually. That would probably work. Back in my day. Fan... There you go, yeah. Phantom of the Opera should be good enough. Proof. Um, <laughs> I guess you can't get in the cart with him. I didn't, I didn't try to do that. I was trying to latch on. I don't know why latching on is causing such an issue. Okay, take three. Third time's a charm. Here we go. can actually la latch on this time instead of getting in with him. I don't think I've ever done that before. That will work. Listen in to him. Pumping tar. Killing animals. Singing opera. What could be worse? What could be worse? Okay. And just for anyone who's coming into the stream a little bit late, I'm actually doing a double giveaway now. I have a new copy of Assassin's Creed 3 if you're interested in that. But if you do not have a PlayStation or you already have the game, I'm going to be giving away a $25 gift certificate for... Like, I guess it could be just about anything you wanted, whether that be PlayStation Network, Xbox Live, uh, Nintendo eShop, whatever, Steam, I don't have a Steam, but you can get one for Steam if you want. Just, uh, if you're gonna donate, it's a uh, donation of five dollars per raffle ticket and put in a hashtag, uh, what was it, hashtag Jeff or hashtag whatever, Any anything with Jeff in it whether it have a hashtag or not, and we'll know it's for my stream. And then if you d donate, um, it's 5 euros or 6 dollars, and I think it's 63 cents USD, you will be entered to win not only the PlayStation 4 and Pokemon X or Y, but also into my raffle. So, that's pretty good. Donate 6 dollars and 63 cents and get entered into three raffles. I would do it. In fact, I I think I've been waiting to donate. Um, which which I'm glad I did cuz now I can donate and enter to win the PlayStation. Okay, so we're going to go to into the depths. 
pictures over here. Bentley sucks. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not playing as Bentley though. Bentley will get his chance. I saw a Bentley mission over there. I'm, I'm gonna not break everything because we don't have time to be breaking everything. There's guards everywhere here. Um, where is my mission? Okay, that, that, so, it's over here. Okay. Kind of failed at killing that guard there. Totally meant to sneak up on him. I would think Sly 5, depending on how far in the works they are with it, would probably be for both PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4. Unless they're in very, very early stages of developing it, in which case it might just be PlayStation 4, but I'd imagine it'd be for both since PlayStation said they were going to keep supporting uh, the PlayStation 3. I wouldn't be too worried. Okay, wow. That was quite the maneuver. Made it all the way over here. Gonna use this wheelbarrow to come on over. This is actually, um, okay, not where I was supposed to go, actually, at all. Oh, yeah, it is. Never mind. That looked like a bush from right here. Uh, one thing about slide 3, which is pretty darn cool, is that you can do certain levels with those classic blue and red 3D glasses. There's actual 3D levels here. And I'm not going to be doing it because I do not think I have a pair of those glasses anymore. And I haven't had one for a while, or a pair for a while, but when I... I think this game might have come with 3D glasses, actually. Oh, yeah, he's counting to three, isn't he? This, this might be a problem. I'm trying here. Oh, yeah, there we go. That worked. <laughs> it's hard when you can't hear him. And he's trying to count for to three. Oh, slide three, or next slide will be open world. I don't know how I feel about that. Honestly, there's something to be said about open world, but also just uh, classic, classic Sly, which it's not, I don't know, I just, I like personally more structured games, meaning like less open world. I do enjoy open world, but I like, I like the structure. I'm going to see if I can do this without, oh no, okay, wait, oh no, I might have to go turn the volume on on my TV because I keep pressing it too soon, and then, ah, oh jeez. I'll try one more time, and then I'm going to, okay, that worked, never mind. Can't synchronize my button pushing with all the sound off. Yeah, I'm with Jay Feather fan there. I don't know how I feel about open world Sly. Seems to be the trend in games now, but I just don't know how well it would kind of fit in with the series. Yeah, Bentley's gonna wait for my signal. I don't see how it was a good idea to bring Bentley into the sewers here with his wheelchair, but that's okay. Yeah, I'd imagine it would be like Assassin's Creed if it was open world. Spyro. I haven't played Spyro since Spyro 3. Well, I actually had a couple of the PlayStation 2 ones, but um, I don't think I ever beat them or ever played them that much. I think I meant a loan one to my friend and they never gave it back. Which happens with like everything I have actually. It's a trend. Just not getting stuff back. I just went for that and didn't get completely annihilated. That was pretty good. Okay. I don't know who keeps rotating torches in their sewer exactly at all. 
actually. I don't, I don't know. I don't see any usefulness in rotating torches in the... What's that? In the sewer. Okay. Now that I'm actually on the wall here... Oh, was it? Uh, I heard Hero's Tale was okay. I actually had Hero's Tale, but I think that's the one that I loaned to my friend. I also have, what was it, like, Enter the Dragonfly, which I heard was completely, like, just terrible garbage. <sighs> yeah. The classic Spyro was the best, though. Skylander's Spyro. I know everyone thinks kind of differently of it, but I just can't get over, like, how ugly he is. Like, uh, Spyro before, he was, like, so derpy that he was kind of cute and, and cuddly, and now he's just, like, this big... Well, not that big. He's just, I don't know. He's ugly. I don't like it. I guess if I played the game, I might, I might, uh, get used to it, but... It's tough. Oh, they don't even have Spyro on Skylanders anymore? I thought that was like the whole deal. Is that Spyro was in it. Yeah. Yeah, I think a lot of people were kind of upset with how he looked. But I've also heard people that really, really enjoyed Skylanders. So, you know, it goes both ways. Crawling through this really nice vent. I don't know how this vent operates correctly since there's no, like, sides on it that are actually working. I like how they have a single guard, too. Like, that's really going to stop intruders. And he's, like, playing jump rope with me. Jeez. Cut it out. Don't appreciate that. Welcome back. Oh, you love Skylanders? Oop, I keep pressing the wrong button for that. Hanson Josh, I'm not sure that I know what you're saying. It seems... oh, jeez. A2-way? Yeah. I... I don't know, I thought about maybe getting Skylanders, but I would probably only get it for Spyro, just because I loved Spyro as a kid, and now he's like totally, like, completely ugly. Have any of you guys played the, not like Hero's Tale or uh, the Firefly one, but like, there was one for Wii, I'm pretty sure, like where he was supposed to be older. I forget what those ones were called. Looks pretty cool just from the cover, but... You know, can't judge a book by its cover, or a game for that matter. So I think we got to do this with Bentley again. I just missed that one. Maybe, maybe that time? No? Maybe that time? There we go. <laughs> oh yeah, I think one of them was Eternal Night. And it had, it had um, a girl dragon in it also, who for some reason can't remember their name. Uh -oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I have to protect. Oh, Cinder, pretty sure I have to protect Bentley now. It's pretty much always the case. Bentley can't just defend himself. <laughs> I would have liked to see Crash and Skylanders. That would have been funny. Like, I guess I, w I would rather him not be in Skylanders, I guess, just because look what it did to Spyro, but it would be kind of funny. Tr try to hit these guys into the fire, I guess, would be the best way to do it. I don't know how he's doing that. Like, what kind of attack that is, like, smashing your head into someone. Like, doing a torpedo there. I'm not even sure how that's possible, actually. Unless you're a torpedo. Which, you're not, because you're a pigeon. This would be easier with Murray. You could just toss all these guys into the fire. Instead of having them, like, jump over the cane quite a few times. 
I want that health, but so I can grab it now. These pigeons, I'm pretty sure, have facial hair. I just noticed, like, some weird feather facial hair going on. Just so they look more like goons. Go, Bentley. But apparently they can't even reach Bentley. It takes them forever, even when they torpedo, just to get over to Bentley. So, not too tough there. Go. Yeah, that's why I think it would be funny if Crash was in Skylanders, just because from what I've seen from it, um, just all the characters in there are just like monsters. So if you would have had like fuzzy like Crash in there, I don't know. I think it would be funny. <laughs> um, Canal Chase. I think, I don't know, new Crash, there's a semi-new Crash game, isn't there? It was uh, Crash of the Titans or something, some cheesy like pun like that. I haven't had a Crash game since, I think it was, it was the first one for PlayStation 2, which was, I think, Wrath of Cortex or something, something like that. That was pretty good, I had fun playing that. Go. Oops. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Canal chase. I think I have to actually go get Bentley to do that, and I, which involves not being caught by this guy. So, I'll wait for him to go past and then go back across the bridge. Oh, it's the first one? Okay, well, yeah. Well, I guess he's a monster, but he's like furry. He's, <laughs> I don't know. Like, when I think of monster, I think of, like, scaly or slimy or something. But I guess, I guess you could consider him a monster. Alright, so we gotta get Bentley out. There's no avoiding it. Got a Bentley mission to do. And we all know how sneaky Bentley is. Just gotta wait for this guy, because it's gotta go across this bridge, I'm pretty sure. I don't want to try to like, go across the boats in Bentley. Although, Bentley can. Oh, it wasn't made by Naughty Dog? Well, I imagine at that point, Naughty Dog was probably working on Jack and Daxter. But, I like that one okay. Like, it seemed, it seemed to, um, be like the original three, more so I mean, it was less of a piece of crap than uh, Enter the Dragonfly, so. Yeah, I like to imagine how hard Bentley can punch a lot. Probably, like, feel like he was tapping you on the back, pretty much. That's why he has to throw bombs and, like, shoot darts at people from afar. Although, if he, like, hit you with his wheelchair, like, jumped on top of you with his wheelchair. That would probably hurt pretty bad. Oh, jeez. I remember this level. And we'll see how this goes. These stupid, like, blue vipers or whatever they are. This thing gets intense. Gets intense. Okay, so pretty much got to try to take these guys out before things get too serious. And I forgot the turrets start to overheat, huh? Which is totally annoying, but realistic, I guess. And should try to jump over this stuff as effectively as I can, I know. This, when I'm playing on my own, this level can get pretty tricky for me. Meaning it takes a while for me to beat. And I've crashed into one of those cement things before, it wasn't pretty. Definitely wasn't pretty, so I'll just try to take out one at a time. I think I got one there. Oh, jeez. Hit the edge of that box. And the second guy here... As long as they don't try to start... See, they start, uh, like, throwing up smoke at you, and then you can't see the obstacles ahead, so got that one. Got 
green, green man, the green man, cat thing, wow, that's unbelievable, um, usually that takes me like four or five times. <laughs> I don't know what kind of old fashioned wind canal can get hot wired at all, but Bentley can do it. Activision, yeah, Activision does that, it's okay, they just pretty much trashed Crash and Spyro, but whatever. Yeah, the smoke is, is the boats dying, but it gets hard to see when they're like tossing up smoke and you have to dodge that stuff. So we're apparently stashing this boat. This really, really fast wooden boat. Yeah, I would agree with Dragon. Although, Sly Thieves in Time was good. Like, uh, I wouldn't say it was the best Sly Cooper, but it was good. And they did a good job of kind of using the formula for the old games and adding their own kind of stuff. And of course the graphics were great. Uh, compared to the old games, just because there's a lot uh, more stuff to work with now. Yeah, and Sucker Punch um, worked closely with them. Um, also with the collection, the HD collection, so I think it's in good hands. And plus, uh, over at Sanzaru, I, I don't forget what video it was, but they just talked about how big of fans they are of the games. They're not just, I'm sure they are in it for the money, but uh, they also know about the games enough not to make it just a piece of trash. Like uh, Sly, not Sly, uh, Spyro. Um, it's hard to say if Sanzara did a better job, because they were able to feed off what Sucker Punch made. So, you know, without Sucker Punch, there wouldn't be Sly 4, and that, like, it's hard to say, because I, I really enjoy Sly 4 a lot, but Sanzaru would be nowhere without Sly 1, 2, and 3. They definitely did a good job, though. I wouldn't say they did a better job than Sucker Punch, but they did a great job. Turf... what? Turf War, that's what I'm going to. I can actually run over there. Climb up here. Onto the rooftop. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and advertise this again while we're seeing whatever this is. Um, I'm doing a giveaway during my time, which is, has started at 7 and will end at 10, or that's Pacific Standard Time, so it's going to go for another two hours, but, um, I will be giving away a $25 gift certificate to essentially whatever you want, keep it PG-13, uh, PlayStation Network, Steam, uh, eShop, Nintendo, uh, Microsoft, whatever, Xbox Live, anything. All you have to do, donate five US dollars to enter the raffle. I also have a Assassin's Creed 3 to give away. So if you win the raffle, you can also have that if you want. Or if you don't want it, I'll pick another winner and they can get it. Because I need to get rid of this game. Uh, so... Go ahead and do that, and if you donate and enter the raffle, um, type something about Jeff in the comments. That can be hashtag Jeff, anything, just so we know that you want to enter the raffle and you're interested in winning. So that will go until 10, and then I'll pick a winner to get the prize, slash prizes, depending on if they want it, so... Be sure to do that, and we get to play as Carmelita next, which is fun. I like to play as Carmelita because she's got a gun, and it's fun to shoot people down with your gun. 
I like her in Sly 4 too, as I mentioned before. But there was a guy, there is a guy over there that I just got shot by. That guy totally missed Carmelita's friend. Okay, so I gotta run over there. There's no sprinting. I guess she does run pretty fast. So, oh no, she can't, she can't do that. Okay. But we can go across on this boat. She can't do any super sneaky Sly moves, but whatever. Not everyone can be super sneaky like Sly and hop across like small pointy objects. It takes a lot of skill. Okay. Gotta love the way Carmelita fires this gun. I don't know why she needs to take her hand off of it every time she fires it, one of her hands, and like wave them up in the air, but you know, whatever. Whatever floats your boat, Carmelita. Alright, so I head across the way. Sweet. I don't know. I am the life of the party over here. I don't know why they need to keep moving the battle. I guess they're gonna come over here to me though. Whoa! Got totally sniped there. Um, there we go. That actually loaded me in the correct place. That should help. Get the <laughs> some funky angles. Okay, I'm back back on track. Here, got him. He's making some tricky maneuvers, so I can't hit him. Um, uh, there's the guy. There's the other guy who was being really rude and getting me while I was trying to get his friends. Uh, what is the day for challenge, by the way, Otto? Just wondering. Gotta get over there as quick as I can, because there's no sprint button. It's kind of annoying. But she does run. I guess, just her normal speed, uh, without the, <laughs> wow, one hit on that guy, and he was done, oh, uh, I think I can, no, maybe not, I, there's a boat right here, though, made it across, there we go, and here's more guys, she's totally harassing us at the police headquarters, and that guy just decided he was going to headbutt me. Like, that's totally going to do something to me. With my electric shocker pistol. These guys have some pretty nasty uh, grenade bomb things they're throwing down, though, at me. Like dynamite, whatever that is, sticking on the ground. And I believe that's the last guy. Yep, looks like it. Oh, the most tweets. How many of you have been tweeting for the uh, challenge? Wondering how many tweets someone's made already. Alright, so Carmelita's just going to head back inside. <laughs> I know. What if they pick? <laughs> uh, I wouldn't think someone would pick like that rare of a game that costs that much money. Uh, so, guard duty, run and bomb. I think we're going to do guard duty. That one's pretty fun. Run and bomb's okay. Okay, get up here. Plus, it's the closest. Here we go. Got to get into all these shops by disguising ourselves and finding some clues. Or finding some blueprints or something. Something like that. <laughs> oh. People are just spamming the hashtag. Yeah. So, how, like, what, how many tweets are in the lead right now? Like, who has the lead? That's what I'm wondering. So, I, oops, I'd imagine you can get quite a few tweets, like, 
So, get that on L1. That should work. wonder if I can... Yeah, that should work. Just drop straight down. Triangle, circle, circle, triangle. Not too bad. Good thing I don't have to listen to that. I was... Morning. Oh, thank you, Jay Feather fan. Eight dollars for Jeff. There you go. If no one else donates, it's all yours. Jeff appreciates it. Jeff would donate. Jeff would buy so many raffle tickets for the PlayStation, for this giveaway, for everything. I just wish he could be here. Alright, so going to go in here since we got rid of the guard. Moonstones, what about them? Oh, okay. And Ratchet and Clank, uh, too. And some super sneaky Bentley stuff going to happen here. Like Bentley rocketing from table to table, like Bentley does. And let's see if I remember where these are. Uh, this one, no... It's on something. Oh, here it is. Four, seven, nine. Four. One. Here. Four, seven, nine, I think. I think it's only three. Yeah, yeah. Try that. There we go. I think I remember where most of these are. Haha. <laughs> I never did the sewer stones thing in uh, Ratchet and Clank. I did the moonstones. <laughs> One day I just like went on a moonstone frenzy and just found like as many as I possibly could. Hi Striker, welcome to the stream. Got all the party people in here now. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to head on to the next location, I think. Yeah, next coffee shop. Bentley has nice eyebrows. They look like brown cheese. I don't know why he's got that weird coloration in his eyebrows. Um, well, I'll just go ahead and change out of this. Got a trophy for that. <laughs> Didn't take much. And let's see here, got coffee shop over here, could probably, oh, I'll change right now. <laughs> Sly looks like a puppet from this angle, like his chin doesn't look at, nope, no, I did it wrong. Gosh darn it. Wow, he didn't even come after me. That was dumb. Alright, I got this this time. Circle, square, square, circle. There we go. And I'm gonna go into the cafe. Oh, this is the guy who, who loves his mama's spaghetti. He's my favorite. <laughs> Love size disguises. How he totally doesn't look like any of the other guards, but no one seems to question it. Just wanted his mom's spaghetti. Oh, sorry guys. How long has that been there? Hopefully not too long. I didn't see that. Hopefully that just popped up. <laughs> oh, it did. Okay. <laughs> Quick time. Wants to update. Oh, the spaghetti guy. Oops. <laughs> Definitely don't want to blow up that painting. Not going to get so far. Yeah, half scene. It's more edgy. That way with quick time right there. Uh, let's see if I remember where this is. Oh. Right nine, six, eight, I guess. I remember the first time I did this. It took me forever to find these. I was just searching everywhere. 
It's always like the worst at that kind of stuff. Alright, blueprint number two. No, not video games. Come on, man. I am so pro. I'm just going to go ahead and just destroy all these tables because Bentley doesn't like coffee chops. He's a turtle. Okay. Go on. I think we've got one more to go. Let Bentley out. <laughs> Thank you. I am MLT. <laughs> uh, we're on the job here. Bentley's eyebrows look like glasses. Oh, maybe those are his glasses. How did I... I'm so confused now. I feel like his... Uh, this is like... His glasses are also his eyebrows. Okay. I don't even know. Turtles... Turtles don't even have eyebrows. I'm just gonna like walk around. Stroll. Stroll through town in my disguise. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine the Twitter challenge could get, could possibly get out of control with people spamming. You were only 35 away, jeez. Oh, I, I did not, I was, I wasn't, I was looking at the chat there. I'll just go like this as well, since I'm not paying enough attention to See the code. <laughs> I haven't played Devil May Cry, but um, is it any good? I might try it if it's good. Is that the one with Dante? Oh, or is that a different game? I feel like there was someone from Devil May Cry and... Oh, it is. Okay. But... I don't, okay. I really need to look up at the screen instead of the comments. Because <laughs> I'm getting distracted. Oh, geez. Now I'm being shot at. Well, that probably won't help. Just run around in circles until he stops chasing me. Maybe that. There we go. Alright, I'm going to actually look at the screen this time before I turn around. Okay. There we go. There we go. See, I think I, I think one of the characters is in PlayStation All Stars. That's why, that's why I was, uh, thinking that. Oh, you won by tweeting 35 times. I thought someone beat you by 35 tweets. Huh. Oh, I have to go find out Tony B's nickname. It's like the Killer B or something. I think we all already know Tony B's nickname. Uh, triangle, circle, circle, triangle. go. Tony B. He's an egomaniac, that's for sure. Well, that was extremely unhelpful, so we gotta find a different card to tell us about Tony B. Looks like there's one right here we can talk to. Circle, square, square, circle. There we go. Oh, was there a different character in Old Devil May Cry? Is there a new one now? Oh, I didn't want... Oh, that, never mind. We got it. We got it. Oh, there's new Dante in Old... Uh, did he look different or something? Whoa, whoa. Someone has 134 tweets? Jeez. That's pretty good. 
unless they donated 134, which is really awesome. Oh, I didn't watch that. <laughs> Stop being distracted by the chat. It's making this pretty difficult. Okay, I guess I'm just riding this until I can get off. That works. Just ride it back to where our boat was. Oh, oh no. No, 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 no. Don't teleport. Oh, there we go. I'd rather be teleported back on land. I don't really want to be up there. Okay. Go tell Tony B his nickname, because all the guards know his nickname, obviously. Okay, got that. Black haired one. Okay. Is the new Devil May Cry any good or is the old one a lot better? Oh, yeah, he is Tony the Killer Bee. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Man, he's trying to diss us. He wishes he was Sly Cooper. Gotta let Bentley in again. <laughs> Go get warm in here. Okay, this one, wow. They got the double going, the laser and the spotlights. So just do some more table sneaking. And put a bomb on that, because that didn't do anything. Okay. Cool fun fact. Um, these paintings are actually um, levels from the other Sly Cooper games. 113. This was um, the Contessa, that spider lady, one of the levels she was in. I just forgot. I just forgot what I just saw. I'm gonna look at the painting again. Oh, <laughs> uh, where was it? Oh, one, 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 three. Okay, one, one, three. Got it. One, one, three. There we go. Another safe open. Blueprint number three. Bentley's face is so intense when he gets that. Oh no, the alarm went off. Oh no, this isn't... Come on. Wasn't even in the thing there. Because they don't even have the yellow um, lasers anymore. They're straight red. This is because you get actual health now. Go. So I just beat that guy up. I guess we're not getting that health. Agreed. Wow, Bentley looks really big. Okay. Oh. Woo. Bentley is so bad just in regular combat. I would... He can hit, like... I guess... He's so slow. I can drop bombs on people, like leave a bunch of bombs everywhere and blow them up. Or like take them out with a uh, sleep little dart, sleep dart. They're all attacking Sly, anyways. I'm just gonna, where are we, are we just heading back to the safe house? I don't really need to waste my time with those guys. <laughs> Stick a bomb right on top of that guy. That works. Goodbye. Um, okay. Can hover straight over that guy. Okay. Back to the safe house. There's another donation? No. Oh. Feather one. Oh, Jay Feather 1. The tweeting challenge, I guess. 
tweeting challenges over then, or is it still going on? Nice slides reading the devious raccoonus there. Looks... Whoa. Now he doesn't have arms. What just happened? Do you guys see this slide? Oh, there's his arm. Okay. D didn't look like he had arm, an arm there for a second. Looked like he was missing an arm. I think there might be another slide mission. Yeah, there is. Okay. Before we have to do Bentley again. Head and do run it. Run and bomb. Uh, this is not going to go well, is it? Huh. A little better than expected. Okay. So I just dropped a boat right there, which might not have been the most sneaky thing to do in that situation, but... There we go. <laughs> hey, Joe, you better get on the tweeting challenge. Is it not over? No, I think you only have to tweet like 135 times or something like that. You could do it. I might have to make a Twitter first, though. Oh, yeah, you might have to make a Twitter first. Probably be better if you didn't have that many followers on Twitter. When you start, like, making 135, six posts, whatever it is. You can win a game of your choice, by the way, winning the Twitter challenge. I think Jay Feather uh, has got his heart set on something with all those tweets. Oh, you only have 12? Who has, who's in the lead then? I thought you were the one with 134. Okay, so the first one's pretty easy here. You totally, like, not sneaking, just run past them because they can't really catch you. There we go. Oh, 12 followers. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, that's pretty good then. Like, I don't think they'll mind too much. Well, they might mind, but whatever. Um, okay, so I'm going to go pick up the next bomb from Bentley. In his little bomb shack that no one in has seemed to notice. Not even whoever owned that shack previously. So, we have another one, which will, is bigger, so it'll give us a little bit more time, but... Ferocious Beast. I don't know where we're going, though. Over here. <laughs> Go. Hanson, Josh, are you playing... Oh, jeez. I guess that didn't ignite the bomb. Are you playing Ratchet and Clank, Hanson, Josh? Ah, I should probably run around him. You know, it would be easier just to run straight through. It would be faster, but I might get shot, so... Don't want to risk it. Going Commando, yeah. I haven't played that game in a while. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> The wind, the balloon, changing directions. Okay, whatever. Uh, okay, so we have to go up there, actually. Just kidding, we're not done. Gotta go up there and hit the balloon down, I'm pretty sure. Sue doesn't want to hit a balloon down. I do. Whoa, totally failed at that part. Guess I gotta actually swing multiple times. Oh, I'm getting on this platform. I was trying to get up there onto the next grappling hook thing. On these bouncy flagpoles. Always a lot of fun. And onto the pipe. Got another. Oh, that one's not bouncy. That's no fun. Super sneaky move. Do 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 do. 
super sneaky move noise right here, guys. And almost up this thing. Oh, geez. That'll work. I'm just gonna whack his face off. There we go. Just whack his whole face off. As long as... go. Um, okay, so back over here, we're going to jump all of the way down, which is 100% safe. At least we landed on that little, um, overhang. So for those of you who just came into the stream or just, um, are new to the stream at all or anything among in that uh, category during my segment which goes for another hour and a half till 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time um, I am going to be doing a giveaway so basically you donate five dollars to um, our charity and that will buy you one raffle ticket um, and so on. So if you buy 10, then you, or not if you buy 10, if you donate 10, two raffle tickets, 15, three, so on and so forth, I'll be giving away a $25 gift certificate to basically anything you want, whether that be PlayStation Network, Microsoft, Points, whatever, um, Nintendo eShop or Steam, anything like that. And I'm also giving away a PlayStation 3 version of Assassin's Creed 3. So if you win the raffle, you can choose to take both of those prizes. Or if you don't have a PlayStation 3, I can pick another uh, person to give the Assassin's Creed to. So uh, it really does help the cause, every donation. And uh, if you're going to enter the raffle, tag your donation with uh, something that has to do, ow, something that has to do with Jeff, whether, like, you can, you can be creative, you can say Jeff, you can say hashtag Jeff, hashtag save Jeff, um, anything like that, because we all know Jeff would donate if he could, um, and that kind of, that kind of failed, but whatever, uh, and also, there's another huge giveaway for those of you who are new to the stream, we are giving away a PlayStation 4, Obviously, when it comes out, we can't get it early or anything. As well as Pokemon X uh, or Pokemon Y. And to get that, you donate um, 5 euros, which is $6.63. And you can, like, do a double here. You can get a raffle ticket for my giveaway as well as the PlayStation and Pokemon X and Y giveaway. So, it's a pretty sweet deal. You have three chances to win there. Maybe four, depending on uh, if the winner of my raffle wants the Assassin's Creed or not. So, it's a lot of chances to win. Yeah, pretty much. Jeff the Killer, what? He's making me follow people. To set up the account. Uh-oh, my brother's getting a Twitter, guys. Careful, he's coming for you, Jay, Jay Feather fan. Might start sending out some insane tweets. Uh, five Day Gamers. It's hashtag Five Day Gamers and just, I don't know what they've been tweeting about. Like 134 times, actually. Just to donate, stuff like that, I guess. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if there's 134 things to say, but... I guess there is. Oh, I have to go get Bentley, don't I? Oh, I was wondering what that noise was. Okay. So back to the safe house. Safe house. I guess I'll just go across the bridge since there's no boats right there. J Feather X <laughs> stick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Gonna go get Bentley. And head out again. To, what was that mission called? Tarbell. Tarball. Not Tarbell. 
super fast wheelchair over there. there go. Well, the Bentley has like a one hit knockout sneaky move. I think what happens is you just like drop a bomb on them and it's totally not helpful at all. Whoa, that was a close one. There we go. Uh, I don't think I attracted any guards' attention there. I have to go down this way across this bridge. Oops, that works. You have 160 by now. Uh oh, Joe. It's making me fall. 161. That's what it is now. Got to start tweeting. <laughs> so we're gonna destroy some tar drums now. We get to do some sick moves with Murray in this mission, as I recall. The Murray. The Murray is ready to rumble. Punch first and not bother asking questions later. That's how I do it. Yeah, all this tweeting could get five day gamers trending. And you could win a free game. All of you just start five day gamers. Hashtag five day gamers. Or hashtag five day gamers forever. You know, Five Day Gamers works too, though. So, uh, Marie's actually going to help us out for the good of the community, and, you know, he owes it to us. So, really, Bentley's oh eyebrow glasses are really tripping me out. Marie's got some sweet, uh... Like, it's a sweet outfit on, actually. Uh, it has to be Five Day Gamers. Five. Oh, is that what you have to tweet to be in the contest, not just Five Day Gamers? What do you need to do? I believe you have to hashtag Five Day Gamers 5, not just Five Day Gamers. So, Murray's going to totally peacefully... Just destroy some tar here. Okay, go in here. Uh, and clog the... Go into ball form. I don't remember. Press L1. Okay. We're going to totally just launch. I believe we just press X when we hit the ground. Oh, that worked. And slowly but surely make our way over there. This is fun. Just bounce really really high up in the air just pink huge pink mass oops okay where's our next one not seeing an arrow here clicking in here where is it down here oh here it is here we go. Oops. Oh, darn it. <laughs> totally failed there. Is there another place to launch out of? Should I... <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm gonna get these guys first. Cause they're really bugging me. Oh, darn it. I can't... Oh, I forgot he was being peaceful. If it trends, then you'll eat a Skylander's toy? There you go, guys. Guys, come on, you gotta do it now. If you get Five Day Gamers trending, Otto will eat a S Skylander's toy. You can't deny that would be awesome. Oh, I guess I already got that one. Oops. Already. Start. Oh, two out of six. Oh, here's another one. Go around. Do you know how many tweets I did? Because this is my first time tweeting, so keeps track of all my tweets. Good. You only have to tweet like 170 times, probably, because I don't know. Jay Feather fan might might be tweeting right now. Seems pretty determined. 
Okay, see you in my next target. Yeah, guys, all of you just start spamming five day gamers. Hashtag five day gamers five. Gotta get this to happen. I would if I could, but I can't. I will later. When my stream's up, I will start tweeting. <laughs> you're 14. When you were 14. Oh, you're 14 year old cat. Wow, that's an old cat. That's pretty good. Okay. I don't know where the next one is. I just lost a lot of momentum there. I'm like, guess it's over there. Oh, I see one. Over here. Slowly but surely, you have 60 Skylanders toys? Wouldn't hurt to eat one then. <laughs> I don't know how good that would be. Put some like chocolate sauce on it maybe. I don't know. That might make it a little bit better or just probably not. Tastes a little bit better, I guess. There we go. I think we got mission complete there. Yeah, don't eat the rare ones. Jay Feather's not stopping, Joe. You're going to have to. Oh, yeah, you just tweet and put hashtag five day gamers at the end of it. Oh, uh, we got someone else? Uh, it's Seba. Seba, if you tweet, uh, like 160 times or however many times, Jay Feather fan, uh, you can win a free game of your choice. You only have to tweet hashtag five day gamers five about 160 ish times. Okay, Hanson Josh, I hope your dog feels better. Uh, I'm not forgetting about you. <laughs> I see you right there. You can also tweet. We need to get 5 Day Gamers 5 trending on Twitter. Tweet like crazy. Yeah, there. <laughs> Hanson Josh has a good idea saying to donate to breast cancer research in every language on Google Translate. There you guys go. Although, I don't know if Jay Feather Fan wants to be copied. That seems to be. I don't know. I'd like to. If I could see Jay Feather Fan's tweets right now, I, I would really like to. I would really like to see your tweets, Jay Feather Fan. I'm sure they're getting pretty crazy. You sent one tweet? Okay. One down, like uh, 160 to go. Okay, so Sly has a job. Be Sly. Tar be gone. Operation Tar be gone. I like it. Gotta get rid of that tar. Yo. Um, gotta head over here. I don't have time for you, cat. Whoa. No, 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 no. Nope. Okay. There we go. And sprint over there. Thank you, uh, Striker. You're, you're really multicultural. Multiple languages there. Okay, uh, Tar be gone. Whoa, Shadow, I never knew you were Batman. That's pretty cool. Okay. This is it. Octavio. Octavio. Yeah, doing some backflips off of roofs. Gonna go trash this guy's day since he has been killing animals in aquariums. And that is not okay. Oh, your Skype pick is Batman. I can't see that right now because Skype's all buried, but I'll have to look. Uh, 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 
By the way, if any of you guys want to add me on Skype, my username is BlazeFur. Much like my YouTube name. Am I? I guess. Oh yeah, I'm sneaking in. Okay. I can do that. Square X. Square Square. Tell that other guy will just totally just walked right past me. Derpy Batman. That's the best kind. Heading in. This part's fun. Welcome back. Okay. I'm gonna just try to... Oh, no, I can't walk around him. It's with his... Oh, no. Okay. I thought I broke it there for a second. By trying to walk behind him. Thought maybe he didn't think that was cool. I didn't know this Twitter challenge was getting so heated. <laughs> okay, square X. Oh, we just had that one. Going down into the basement. He's got creepy eyes, like like glowing green eyes under that Jason mask. Oh, how can you win the Twitter challenge if you won't use a Twitter? Um, yeah, that would be what my town is on Skype. That's definitely, that's not where I live, but, yeah, that's, that's the town. Uh, yeah, there is a way to stream on 3DS, I'm pretty sure. You can buy, like, a, a square x, square x, square x. Uh, you can buy a special attachment for it that costs, like, a lot of money, and you can actually stream on it. Yeah, guys, if 5 Day Gamers 5 trends, Otto will eat a Skylander's toy. Who doesn't want to see that? Tweet away. Trending anywhere or trending worldwide? Because trending worldwide might be, might be a little more difficult. Okay. I believe I have to open a door with this guy, which could prove to be difficult. Oh, maybe not. Nope. I didn't get that. I'm ready. There we go. Worldwide? Oh, that could be tough. But we can do it. We can do it. If everyone just starts tweeting, hashtagging like crazy, we could do this. Yeah. Yeah, I saw the... Uh, 3DS capture. I think that would be cool. It's just the capture card's really, really expensive. We need to act quickly. Oh, this part. Bentley. Bentley. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, we can bent. We can, <laughs> we can Bentley. We can beat how to resist sex. No problem. I heard one of you guys gave me a request on Skype. I will accept all those requests after I'm done streaming. Okay, we got... Did, oh, it takes multiple bombs, doesn't it? I forgot. Would be nice if it just took one. Okay, that <laughs> that's a death trap. Because they all start coming out. And then Bentley can't put the bombs in the right place because he's facing the wrong way. I remember... Two. Did I not destroy the one over there? No, I did not. Okay. Hopefully Bentley will face the right way. No, he's not going to face the right way. That didn't help. There we go. That one should work. Go over here and get these ones. Bentley. No one needs you to, like, side hop around. That's really not helpful in any way. Might as well put, like, five bombs on that just so it might get some of those guys. Uh-oh. Wow. Okay. There we go. Uh, that's... Oh, not quite all of them. There's one more up here. Just start spamming the triangle button up there. One more bomb, which I just missed. One more bomb should get it, though. Looks like I can get it on. There we go. Six out of six.
Are you guys counting? <laughs> Jay Feather can't keep count because he's going too fast. It's going to be tough if you want to beat Jay Feather. Okay. Bentley Plumbing. Oh. Go. Okay. Ready to drop the chandelier. Oh, this part's great. <laughs> it's laggy. Looks fine on mine. Is it laggy on yours, Joe? Um. Or guys, since he's on the same internet as me. Oh, it's laggy? I'll exit out of my window and see if that helps. Is dad using the computer? Hopefully, maybe that helped. Um, how long has it been laggy for? Could just be the time of night. Oh, I don't do it right now. Okay. I think that's how it goes. Might just be making that up. It's easy when they're all X's. You can see Sly up there going at it, loosening the chandelier. That was a fucking lineup. Oh geez, Bentley's like shaking. He's getting into it now. Getting totally into it. Okay. Did they say, did that help the lagginess at all? I think I might have messed that up. I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to tell. <laughs> Go. Come on, Sly. Hurry up. Stepping even closer. Jeez, this guy takes his opera too seriously. Yes, me. size. I don't know. I have to focus. I keep if I like look away for one second I don't see the things I'm supposed to press. Go and oh okay. I don't know what's taking Sly so long. There we go. Bentley can sure hold his notes. Go. I don't know how that was holding up. Oh, wow. Carmelita. Ruins everything. Did they say if that helped? Guys, is it any less slaggy now? It's better. It's a little better now? Okay. Oh no, Carmelita thinks she needs to join in on this. Come on, Carmelita. Jeez, oh, Carmelita has to ruin everything, I swear. She seems to work for, like, every police force, like, ever, also. She worked at Interpol, I think, in slide two. But now she's in Venice. So I think we're going to be shooting him down, yeah. With all these cop boats everywhere. Which I'm pretty sure you can't break the cop boats, but you can break the uh, regular wooden docks and the wooden boats. It gets tough to hit this guy, though, when he's 
uh, dropping bombs just because of the weird angle. Whoa. And also that. It's a little little more tough than the than the blue vipers. <laughs> the blue vipers weren't smart enough to have actual weapons equipped to their boats. So you know if they're gonna be like some badass like boat gang they probably should have weapons on their boats. They're just being totally lame. And just driving their boats around normal. Oh geez, that was a close one. Um so this thing it's keeps getting overheated. It's annoying. Makes it hard to get some good shots in at him because you can't really hit him while he's turning. You have to kind of get him on the straightaway. Get him more. Getting overheated again with my controller like vibrating like crazy when whenever it gets overheated. How? Do you mind? Huh? Go Yiddish? Go. Come on, man. I don't know how he's driving this boat and also um, shooting as well. Because apparently it takes two, two people for t us to do it. We can't both drive and shoot. It's just a big hacker. I really wish my controller would stop vibrating, but you have to shoot him. Keeps getting overheated. Uh, wait, what? Oh, he's out of control. I was like, I don't think I died. Controller's just vibrating like crazy now. There we go. That was all about for added intensity. I it's in all games. Oh, he's she's Interpol in all games. All right, well, that makes sense. I mean, she was just I don't know. She she just happens to show up, I guess. Now we got Murray watching from above here. The demolition switch. <laughs> uh oh. What's he gonna do with that switch? Uh oh. Now Murray's like back in his game. He sees something explode, it just totally triggers his <laughs> Just from J Feather. Yep. Well, it's good. You're getting out the word to everyone since you can uh, use different languages. Wow. He just kicked a cripple out of his wheelchair. This guy gets worse and worse. First he kills all those aquarium animals. Now he just kicks a cripple. Totally uncool. Now Murray's ready to go. I'm ready to take him down. Bentley's just out cold. One hit KO. Oh, no, he's not. Murray! Help me! Fly! That was my best Bentley impression. Alright. Murray's going to floss his teeth with this guy's spine. Well, I guess that could work, even though ben or Murray only has one tooth. Now we have to turn on Tar in here because this guy's like way too fast. And he's really retarded, so he's going to come back in here like multiple times. I just tossed him into the water. It gets tougher though, and the tar will go away. And he throws Tar. What's up with that? I don't want your Tar. best to just kind of leave him alone when he's not when the tar is receding unless you can get a good shot at him because well or you can do that I mean that works just wait for him to run by you but his attacks get a little bit better so wow he's starting to counter too <laughs> just keep hitting him into sly that works Wow, wow, okay. You're gonna be a total hacker, buddy. I think he's got some sort of belly flop going too. 
never tell. I think he's supposed to be a lion, but he has some weird beard thing going on, which just makes it totally confusing. He has a lion tail, but I don't know. He kind of looks like a dog or, I don't know, a weird bearded dog or something. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and run over to the next supply area, which is not over there. It's actually over here. Get some more tar. We're using his tar against him. Who would have thought? Break some tables on the way there. Oh, got to go across the bridge since Mary cannot make that jump. I don't want to try it. Down here. It's right behind us. There we go. Okay, I guess another cutscene. He's not holding back no longer. Uh-oh. The song of death. <laughs> Reach Twitter's daily limit. Of what? Tweets? Ow. One thousand. One thousand. Whoa, whoa. I don't know what's up with that um, belly flop attack thing going on. This guy's being told. It's like that one caused a sonic boom. That one he just did. <laughs> or maybe it hit me. And I, I don't know. I just didn't see. Just belly flops out of the way. Come on, buddy. I keep pressing triangle instead of circle to do stuff. Because you can play the belly flop game. go or if you hear like my clicking it's just gonna bu oh man he got me how come his belly flop does that like sometimes but not others whatever oh darn it yeah there's like no checkpoints here I don't appreciate you throwing tar at me I don't know if throwing tar actually does anything or not if it hits you, maybe it does. I don't know. Okay, I got him pretty good that time. <laughs> just gonna keep belly flopping. It's like his only way to avoid an attack is just to belly flop. I like button mash, just like tapping square as fast as possible here. Not even in the tar. <laughs> there we go. Murray, you can't just punch him out on the first time. Wait for him to do more tar. There's like one more thing of tar here, maybe. Do his punch attack. Yeah. Just like too close to the tar thing. There we go. What's that? That attack. There we go. On to the next stage. Again, try to do better this time. Alright, now five. So, we've got about an hour left. That's an hour left to uh, enter my uh, giveaway that I'm doing. And I'm going to go ahead and explain it once more. I know it's probably been kind of repetitive for you guys who have been here, but just in case anyone just joined the stream or joined after I explained it last time, um, I am giving away not only a new copy of Assassin's Creed 3 for PlayStation 3, but also a $25 uh, gift certificate to uh, anything you want, really. Um, Nintendo eShop, Play, or, uh, PlayStation Network, Steam, um, Microsoft, whatever the Microsoft store is called. I don't even remember. You know I have an Xbox. Um, just, just like anything you want. And all you have to do is donate $5 to enter the raffle. Just totally hacked me there. I don't know how he jumped ahead and got me. Um, so $5 for one raffle ticket. You can enter as many times as you want. 
So ten dollars will get you two, fifteen, three. Um, and also, you can enter to win a PlayStation Four if you do, uh, donate five euros or more, which is uh, six dollars and sixty-three cents. We decided you won't come into the tar. Annoying me. Okay. All right, I'm just getting smashed twice in a row. I need to get out of that corner. That corner's not doing anything for me. Stupid belly flops. Only Murray gets to do belly flops. It's totally Murray's thing. You can't steal his thunder. I'm just going to wait for him to come back into the tar because I don't have a lot of health here. Ow. Cut it out. I hate it. It's just like standing on the edge of the tar. It makes it a lot more difficult than what, coming into the tar. Just will like stop. Sly just got hit. <laughs> Sly ran right into that. Now he's like standing on the tar thing. <laughs> I can't go in there with him standing right there. There we go. Well, at least he'll stay in the tar for a little bit, even though I can't see him. I can actually hit him, I guess, towards the tar. There we go. It's a little bit more. Way, I think one more tar thing will do it. One more tar pit. What's he doing? Doing the same thing now. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> You're not hitting me with that. There we go. Got him. I guess I kind of see the line now. He's a skinny line. Space, anyways. Oh, finally, he gives his opera singing dreams up and his animal killing dreams up. His tar dreams. Jeez. Mm. Job complete. I love how Bentley wears a helmet in his wheelchair. That's pretty funny. So get Bentley fixed up since he totally just got KO'd right before our battle even started. I died once. Oh, did I die? No, yeah, I've died. I don't know if that challenge is still going or not, but yeah, it's kind of hard for me not to die at all. So he's going to jail. He can sing opera there. Yeah, sing opera for all of the inmates. I'm sure. I'm sure they love that. Because <laughs> the inmates love opera. So, yeah, it's sweet. A uh, little Murray suiting back up in his old gear. It's five pounds. Uh, five pounds. Oh, it's five pounds? Five euros or five pounds? I don't know. I've been saying it wrong the whole time. I thought it was euros. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure, though. Get all mixed up. So, we are going to start Rumble Down Under. Essentially, Murray's back and everyone's having a jolly old time, or so they thought, until Murray's like homesick and, well, not necessarily homesick, but feels bad for leaving his guru behind and going back to his old ways. So, um... They are going to head back to the Outback, where Murray trained. Yeah, see Sly, thumbs up, thumbs up. And track down the Guru, because Guru might be able to help get into the Cooper Vault. Murray, got some expert disguises there. Murray doing a little coloring book. We're waiting, and we're heading to Australia. Uh, in a plane, I might add, because... I don't know if you guys remember, but uh, the van is gone. Something that happened near the end of slide two. The van floated away. 
So now we have to take normal forms of transport instead of driving our van across multiple oceans to get there. Which is also a good form of transport, but... Mm, not quite as realistic. So, just kind of watch this slide. Just thinks Guru would be good for their team, so on and so forth to get there. Jeez, what has happened? What has happened? Everything is just completely trashed. Very sad. Very, very sad. We've got Sly Cooper and the gang in Rumble Down Under. It's going to be a Rumble Down Under. I will say that now. So, let's see what we are going to be doing first here. My eyes burn. We're in Australia. It's 8.14. No, we're not playing in the hazard room. No one has time to be playing in the hazard room. Okay. Search for the guru is our very first mission here. I do enjoy this um, episode quite a bit. Some parts more than others. But it's pretty fun. I meant to sneak up on that guy. So we're gonna go check out the Guru's old rock. Hi, uh, like hangout on top of this cliff where he used to live back in the day. And see if he's there. We'll see if he's there. Looking forward to meeting him. Oh yeah, from the looks of it, doesn't look like things will be that simple though. Just getting the guru and getting out, it's never, it's never that simple, Sly. Okay. So we got a bunch of dingo, coyote things in this level as the main guards. Which is pretty cool. There's that, they're actually the big guards and the little guards. So... Check out this little cave. For some reason, I guess just to talk to Murray. I don't know why we'd have to use our binoculars to look in there. When we're standing like two feet away. But I'm going to go to his hut. That apparently smells. <laughs> Uh-oh. Apparently Murray made his, made his hut smell bad. Oh, jeez. Do we have any new raffle entries, or is it we still have one here? Okay, go ahead and refresh. Oh, I just totally missed that hook. Go head over here. I don't know why that guy just jumped down when he was supposed to be chasing me, but that works. Okay. Here to his. No. J Feather fan's gonna win both. Both here at this rate. If anyone enters the raffle, they have a 50 50 chance for $25 uh, dollar gift certificate and Assassin's Creed. For five bucks. 50 50 shot. Okay. Let's see what's going on in here. Nobody's home. There appears to be smoke coming out of it. I'm not sure why that is. I guess that might be Murray's... Whatever Murray did. For some reason, smoke's still coming out of it. It's like... <laughs> did Jayfeather fan hit their Twitter... Did you hit your uh, tweeting limit for the day? Yeah. Oh. Second Twitter, I don't think that's allowed. <clears throat> I don't know how anyone can beat the Twitter limit. All they can do is tie. Well, unless you wait until midnight, depending on where you live, I guess. Um, still looking for the guru. I think he's, we're going to go up on this cliff now. So that's where Bentley's thinking he is. Uh, um, 
Yeah, I can make that jump. Okay, I was a little worried there for a second. I don't remember these guys jumping, like, over your attacks like that. Which I'm sure they always did, I just don't remember that well. Head over to this compound to find the guru. There's a lot of fun, a lot of fun parkour going on right now. Oops. Gotta actually jump towards it. Go. Use our moves we learned in Sly 2, that grappling move. Which is fun. Good addition. And what do you know? Here's the guru. Look at him. You'd think he'd be able to fit in that. Uh, through that hole in the wall. Guess not. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh-oh. Whoa. So, can't hear the guru at all. Probably because he doesn't make any sense at all. And for some reason, Sly can understand him. Sly, so uh... I, I don't know how he understands him. <laughs> you can tell he's nuts. Just by his outfit. And the fact he's a uh, purple koala is pretty... Kind of clues you in. Maybe you dyed his hair to be edgy. Oh, let's see if I can get the thing up. I think Bentley's going to give another presentation here. That no one is that interested in. So the guru has to get his staff, obviously, because he can't do his voodoo guru magic without his staff. Got these coyotes. They're they're trash in the place. He doesn't want to leave. Stuff like that. Yada yada. Murray Bentley doing stuff. Why is the guru so small in that picture? Whoa. Weird. Oh, Hanson Josh is back. Welcome back. I didn't see you come back because I exited out of my window. Uh, okay, I think we get the gist of it here. Bentley. Flashbacks of Bentley. There's a mask. 850 rays now. That's awesome. I think we could get to a thousand by the end of 5D Gamers 5, which is pretty amazing considering our goal was like 280 or something like that at the beginning. White Darkness donated, but it doesn't say Jeff, so he's in the chat asked about it. Oh, he is. Uh, Void Darkness, were you meaning to enter the raffle? Well, you could be automatically entered. I guess if you don't want to be entered, then that's cool too. Oh, uh, well, even if he didn't mention Jeff, uh, he donated, so... Yeah, he was. Okay. Oh, just checking. I mean, I'm sure... I'm, sh <laughs> I'm sure you wouldn't mind winning the prize. There you go. Well, thank you for donating. Jay Feather's got competition now. Can't let Jay Feather win all the prizes. <laughs> what is that? So like some TNT just drop happened. Gotta get dark caves. Oh, you didn't even know there was a raffle. Yeah, there is a raffle going on. Uh, I am giving away a $25 gift certificate to uh, really anything you want. And also an Assassin's Creed 3 for PlayStation 3 if um, the person who wins uh, has a PlayStation 3. You've won no prizes until now. I think you're going to win the t Twitter challenge. I think it's pretty safe to say that no one's going to be able to max out on their tw tweet limits. How many did you end up, uh, how many tweets did you end up doing, Jay Feather? How do I get up here? What's going on here? Dark caves? Come on, dark caves. Oh, it looks like I have to go up here do it. Okay, maybe that's why I was heading over here in the first place. Oops. 
we're gonna check. Okay, go. Okay, uh, can't get over it. Nope, can't, didn't quite make it. Make it from here. And we have to get on that thing somehow. Uh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Can just walk across this. No need to wait for the cart to come around. Okay. The dingoes. They are dingoes. I mean, they were dingoes or wolves. Only makes sense since it's rumble down under that they're dingoes. Go. Go team PlayStation, yeah. Woot woot. <laughs> I never, uh, I asked this the other day, but, um, how did team PlayStation get ahead by, like, 4,000 points would be my question. I know you... Like yesterday morning when I checked we were ahead by like 800 and then I came back and someone told me we were ahead by 4,000. Just been wondering like how that happened. <laughs> Being awesome. <laughs> awesome points. I guess, I guess so. That makes sense. Well, someone's, so, just numbers. someone's tweeting numbers. <laughs> Ta tagging Five Day Gamers Five also. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll be interested to see how many times Jay Feather fan tweeted. Oh, what um, happened with uh, Blue Blazing? Blue Blazing was there some sort of point giveaway? There we go. Get on top of this. There's a donation challenge. Oh, yeah, yeah. I figured that's probably what it was. Oh, jeez. just fell off the cliff. Alright. Well, hey. Get away from me. Nobody likes you. Okay, next. Whoa! <laughs> totally. Okay. I just whiffed completely on that. Darn it, he can see me up here. Or not shoot me. Don't shoot me. Okay. You heard me. Probably because the other guard's like throwing stuff over here. We're on our way to get the guru's um, staff. I don't know if they explained that. They probably did. But just in case. That's what we're doing. It's in here. Go up. Which way does it, it wants me to go this way still? Okay. Do that. Oh, okay. It's a little harder when it doesn't have the, like, arrows to tell you, but there we go. Oh, apparently we're getting a moonstone, not a staff. Moonstone for a staff? Whatever, Moonstone's cool. Uh oh, booby trapped. This always happens. Everything's booby trapped. Now we gotta race back through this cave. And I think I just went the wrong way. Yeah, I did. We'll see how that goes. Going the wrong way, I'm sure it doesn't really help. Ah, uh, this is gonna like tip. Just gonna run past these guys because nobody's got time for bad guys trying to hit you and you gotta get out of the cave. Let's go over here. No, not going over there. Okay, going over here. Oh, I see. <laughs> we'll see if I make it with like no health. Almost there though. Oh, didn't make it. Okay. 277 is how many tweets uh, Jay Featherfan has. 
made today <laughs> or tonight. I don't know how long that took. I'm assuming it probably took a while. I need help. Jeez, I'm just hitting 100. You just, whoa, you just hit 100? <laughs> Uh-oh. J Feather fan, my brother, he's he's coming after you. He's he just hit a hundred tweets. Only like a hundred and seventy-eight more. Is that like the daily limit? Two hundred seventy-seven? Crazy. You'll be doing a lot more when you can tweet again. <laughs> well, I'm catching up in the break. Hey Spartan. Okay, next find your way to the back of the cave again okay easy enough I don't have like any health now though health would be good right now but I guess I could find some oh the daily limits a thousand but apparently they break it off into chunks so you have to wait a while that makes sense Jeez, we could we could get this trending with like three people all by ourselves. You guys just need to keep keep tweeting. Uh, five day gamers hashtag five day gamers five. We don't even need other people. Just like three people can just tweet like a thousand times each. Oh wait, I'm going the wrong way. Oh what? I'm not paying enough attention to this. Now I gotta go the other way. Maybe I'll go a little slower. Okay, circle left. Oh, I was... No. Circle right. What am I doing here? Yeah, we want you to eat a Skylander toy, Otto. Spartan, come on. Apparently this safe is really, really sensitive. So I'll have to go really slow. So slow. What? Gosh darn it. You could cut it up into parts. <laughs> I couldn't see anyone actually eating a Skylander's toy, though. Like, digesting it completely. Like, you could, like, chew on it for a while. Oh, yeah, you could melt the toy. I don't know if that'd be safe. What is going on here? Apparently, I'm just totally failing utterly at this. Uh, turn it right, and then turn it left. Okay. Seems easy enough. Get the first two. Thank you, Joe. Tossing stuff. Yeah, make a video. Oh, jeez. I turn, I turn away for a second and... Why? This has to be the area where I get stuck. I don't know why. Just turn really slow. Sly, come on, man. Driving me crazy here. Am I doing something wrong? Go left? No, nope, just messed that one up. Left, right. There we go. I don't know why that took so long. Now we have a staff. And I assume that's another uh, booby trap. Yeah, another booby trap for the stick. Mm-hmm. Angry dingoes. And whatever those are. Whoa. They're just... Oh, I'm, I forgot that I have no health, or I might have not just done that. But now I have full health. So, 
Oh, these whips, I can't even see. Ow, how did they get me from that far away? They stopped. <laughs> Gosh darn it, can't see anything in here. I'm trying to run as fast as I can. These guys just start throwing like smoke bombs at me. That's totally helpful. I'm just gonna like tap where as I run through. Some actual rail sliding here. Doing the Tennessee Kid Cooper rail slide. Shout out to Tennessee Kid Cooper. <laughs> Get away from me. Oh geez, now I can't see again. They can't give it up. Stop throwing gas at me if you want me to fight you. Just got a job complete anyways. <laughs> yes, I think we discussed before there's no girls on the internet. Okay, back to the hideout, and then we will go grab Murray. So we can actually do a Murray mission. Oh, I got some health, too, while I was jumping. Cool. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. I'll go this way. Sigh. hate when they, like, turn like that. To like fight the enemy, but I'm totally not gonna fight that guy because he's way too big. And he has a gun. Okay. Okay, no, not rule 34. <laughs> um, Murray has a job to do. Okay, since we got about a half an hour left, I'm gonna go ahead and explain the giveaway again in case anyone new came in. Um, so, rule, yeah, that rule, Jay Feather fan. Uh, I'm giving away a $25 gift certificate to anything you choose, anything you want. You can have it. Um, all you have to do is donate $5 or more. $5 gets you one raffle ticket and $10 to 15 3 so on and so forth. Um, I also have an Assassin's Creed 3 game to give out, and if you win the raffle, you can choose to receive the Assassin's Creed game also, or if you don't have a PlayStation 3, because that's what the Assassin's Creed 3 game is for, uh, you can just let me know, and I will pick another person to receive it. Yeah, pretty much so. Uh, now we're going to go spelunking with Murray. Sounds sounds like a good time. Sounds like a good time, just from the just from the mission title. So looks like we will be Brian's, heading. Brian's cheating. Brian Johnson. Brian Johnson's cheating. How? Posting colors and letters. Oh, colors. Um, <laughs> yeah, donate there. Oh, and I forgot, if you're going to enter the raffle, you can, if you want to type something about Jeff, just, just say Jeff, hashtag Jeff, anything, in the description, just so I know that you want to enter the raffle, that would be totally cool. Otherwise, I'll just ask you and figure out if you want to be in the raffle. It doesn't hurt to be in the raffle. You can get a $25 gift certificate to something. I think we have two people entered right now, so you have a pretty good chance of winning if you want to donate. I'm gonna head to the next mission here for Murray. Going in here. Which I wasn't paying attention, so I don't know where here is, but it should be pretty exciting. Pick up rocks with circle and throw them. I don't see any rocks. Oh I see. I see the rocks now. Oops. <laughs> Get rid of that guy so it doesn't make me throw the rocks at him. We can break rocks with more rocks. I'm going to take one with me just for good measure. Oh, no. Can't double jump with rocks. Never mind. 
not taking me one with me. Me with one what? What's going on? Okay. Oh, that's okay, Spy Crab. You can still sport the stream by... Well, you're sporting the stream by even being here, so... It's all good. It's all good. Not everyone can donate. We know that. That's why we have the other challenges that uh, don't... Aren't necessarily just about donating, like the Twitter one, which... You can still... It's not too late to enter, but they're... <laughs> There's a lot of competition. Uh, I can't jump on this with... Oh, there's rocks up there. Never mind. I'll just come over here and belly flop on this guy. Just take a hit. Whatever. Murray can take it. Break this. Uh, I will announce the winners of my raffle right after the uh, stream. Like at the end of the stream, around 10 uh, Pacific Standard Time or... You do the math for your time. So you have like another like 15, not 15 minutes, a little more than that, 23 minutes to enter the raffle. As many times as you want. It's too thick even for you. Okay, looks like we'll be throwing rocks in that thing. Oh, ball form. Okay, that works too. I'd rather throw rocks in it, I think. Mm-hmm. Door should open. As long as I don't fall off the cliff. So, yeah, I'll, I'll stop the game, like, five minutes early or so, um, and announce the winner. I wish I could get my, like, pink force field going just from regular but I guess you have to oops oh wow you have to like launch out of the sewer or something to do that well even if you donate tomorrow you s can still enter to win the PlayStation 4 the PlayStation 4 um, goes on until the end of the event which is on uh, Wednesday. So you have plenty of time to donate whenever you want to. My raffles, uh, just, I thought it would be fun for my, like, uh, little, my little segment. But yeah, you could win a PlayStation 4 or Pokemon X or Y in the big raffle if you donate tomorrow. I think you, did we decide it was, uh, five pounds? It's five pounds. I was saying euros earlier. Uh, I know I looked up, uh, looked it up in USD, and it's like six. It's seven dollars and sixty-eight cents. Seven dollars, sixty-eight cents. I didn't know it was pounds. I thought it was euros, or eight. Yeah, yeah, eight USD should work. That would probably be easiest, unless you wanna wanna do the exact change. Yeah, I didn't realize it was pounds. I was thinking it was euros this whole time, so it's a little more in USD than uh, euros would be. There we go. But that's uh, that's pretty sick. For eight dollars, you can get a PlayStation Four. I mean, you're not you're not going to get that deal anywhere else. I already put the one in. I'm only at one twenty-six. <laughs> Breaks up your tweets. Yeah. Jeff kicks ass. There you go, Hanson Josh. He does. Hanson Josh. I'm glad I'm glad someone in here respects Jeff as much as me. Respects respect Jeff. Hashtag. That's our new hashtag. Respect Jeff. Jeff the killer. Okay. So this guy's got the mask. How are you guys making those faces? <laughs> Alright, just don't tell me. I'm guessing they're just regular faces and it just converts them into that. So I think we're going to just go throw down with this guy who has the mask. Oh, he just... Oh, I think maybe you have to lure him into stuff. Maybe... 
to uppercut the boss into the air and circle to grab him. Okay. Yeah. As I thought, we have to throw him at... Oops. Just use him basically to destroy this whole thing. Um, what? Is there another one that I haven't thrown him at? I'm just going to keep pressing circle. Did I pick him up too quick? What's going on here? Maybe I had to wait a second. Um, maybe just run him into this? Running around? <laughs> ah, what was that angle? How come it won't let me throw him? Oh, I was pressing the wrong button. That's why. Ow. There we go. Oh wait, there's one more. Never mind. Almost there. Toss him into that too and the mask is taken off. Uh oh. Okay. Head out here. Not head out here. Just kidding. Head through this door. This very, very convenient door, might I add. All those faces. Aw, oh, Jeff stole your money. It's probably just because he wanted to donate your money for you. Oh, wow, we just hit that thing. Smacked it. Running around. Like a madman. I have returned to my master. Yeah, yeah. Got the black tar. Stuff. Stuff. Murray's talking. I like how he flexes when he talks. <laughs> So, the Mask of Dark Earth is what has been causing some trouble for us. I'm going to get Skype. Okay. Just Jay Feather. Uh, job complete. Nice. Guru. Yep, the guru. Okay, big truck. Wow, I like the sound of that mission. <laughs> As you guys may know, I have the need for speed that only big trucks can fulfill. Okay, um, down here. It's like, nope, looks like uh, we'll have to go around. This Murray can't just jump. Well, he can jump. He just can't do his super sneaky move. Racing mission. Actually, it's not really a racing mission, but it's almost as fun as one. I think we have to go collect, like, really hot scorpions. Yeah, that's pretty much how the guru talks. <laughs> So here we go, just going to drive this thing through the swamp, I guess, since it's absolutely humongous, yeah. Yeah, I, d yeah, really hot scorpions. I don't really care for this mission too much, just because it can be a pain sometimes, but it's not too bad. I mean, it is a really big truck. It's hard not to like really big trucks. <sighs> really big, really hot trucks with hot scorpions and the really big truck. I don't even know. Okay, so spying on these guys who apparently don't see us like five feet away from them just with our binoculars talking about them. Gotta pull some levers it looks like. Take you take care of a few guards. 
What's with these green kangaroos? I never understood that. Oh no, I just never understood why they were green. There we go. And of course the other guys are going to notice, but you can just push them off. Pull them the lever. And got some water out here. The sonic vibrations caused will make this giant scorpions come. Huh. Their troll ruse. That makes sense. I guess they did eat their vegetables. They ate too many cucumbers or something. I like, well the dingoes are like regular color and then I mean, they're kind of purple. They're like more like blue. I guess dingoes are more brown. But purple, I mean, green kangaroos. Then again, there is Murray who's a pink hippo. I don't know. Like some of the some of the characters are the correct color for their species and others are not. Yes, so getting a tutorial here. We have to go in the water to make sure these tires don't melt because that's how hot it is where these scorpions live. And I don't rem I guess we're getting red scorpions. Oh, I just ran that one over. Pressing R1 to flip. That works. I think this whole thing just flips, yeah. That's what I thought. The whole car just flips over. Oh, Jesus. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. I, oh, jeez. So coordinated right now. There we go. Got one. Now we're, like, totally spazzing out and the tires are burnt. Or something. I don't know what happened. <laughs> this car is so, this car is just completely out of control. Oh, my God. Oh, jeez, what have I done? What? <laughs> there we go. Oh, no, I just ran them over. Oh, my God. I hope there's... I don't think there's any time limit. The uh, blue ones... Breakdancing truck. Cool your tires, So Yeah, this is a breakdancing truck. Oh, right, here we go. Double. Yes, double right there, guys. Oh, jeez, I just... Gosh darn it. This one's running into a wall. He's easy. He's too easy. He's easy prey for me. Okay, this that guy's that guy's okay. Let's go cool off our tires. I think we might have to do something else more challenging in a second here. Sensors are showing a drop off in the underground movement. Oh no, we have to drill even further. orange from uh yeah this truck is pretty drunk um that's why that's why this is uh, obviously why it's happening it has nothing to do with the driver being completely and utterly drunk <laughs> Murray's always drunk when he operates machinery that's just how he rolls oh darn it that was that was pretty, pretty big failure. Okay, got it this time though. Like seriously, who would agree to racing a bunch of dogs near a hot dog stand? Or a bunch of monkeys while you're trying to get a snow cone? Who does that? Better wait till I'm facing up here. There we go. Go through this nice looking gas. I'm sure that's really healthy to have your lungs around. Yeah, Murray's pretty much the Jeff of this game. He's always drunk when he goes to work. <laughs> I don't think... Maybe Jeff's always drunk when he goes to work. I will have to switch to the blue scorpions. That totally did not help. I thought that's what it was. The challenge. Challenge accepted. I see you. Blue scorpion. I don't see any red. There's a red. Oh, wow. That was... 
There are some crazy maneuvers going on right now. I think Jeff would probably be able to do this, if I had to guess. Seems like Jeff would be the type of guy who could drive a humongous truck and run over scorpions. Humongous scorpions. Darn it, that, I didn't want the blue one. <laughs> this truck is really out of control. I have to run over more of these guys because I'm getting overheated. There's a whole crowd right there. There we go. Okay. I don't know why my controller needs to vibrate the entire time I'm driving this car. This car doesn't have very good handling either. I go after this guy. Very uns- Oh, jeez, he turned around. He, like, was... <laughs> He's gonna pull a fast one on me. I think I just accidentally smushed him. Smush that red scorpion, that opportunity. This guy's going down. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, jeez. They just like run under your truck while you're attempting to capture them. I would rather be captured than be run over, quite personally. Quite personally, I don't think that's... I don't think that actually made any sense, but... Whatever, whatever, okay. There are 15. Did I just get gold? I guess if you capture blue ones, you get... You can sell them or something. I don't know who would want to pet giant blue scorpion. Whoa. Whoa. Weird angle going on here. Okay. 17. Better run over some blue scorpions here, because tires are getting hot. I don't want to waste... Too much. Here's another one. Here's two. Two fur. No. Only one fur. Oh, jeez. This could be a problem. There we go. 19. Uh, one more. There's like a whole pile of blue guys over here. No red. Uh, here's a red. There we go. 20. Okay, pretty much just put like 40 or so red scorpions in that mine. <laughs> well, yeah. I don't claim to be a pro truck driver. Okay, so we're entering like the last five minutes here. You guys have like five minutes to donate and enter the raffle. So $5 per raffle ticket and you could win a $25 gift certificate. And that raffle's going to end in five minutes. Or, yeah, about five minutes. Six if you want to get official. So, what else we got going on here? Just totally ran through, like, all those guards. Whatever. Uh, oh, a Bentley mission. Oh, joy. You can hear the enthusiasm in my voice there. Yeah, you can save boobies by entering the raffle, guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> that was an extreme stunt. Not sure how I didn't fall in the water there. I'll take it. Uh, this could be a problem. Have to pick one. There we go. Click make it to the safe house. There's the safe house. Uh oh. <laughs> Almost jumped right into that guy's thing. There we go. And got to get back in here and grab Bentley. Yeah, that's a good thing about Bentley mission. You just have to get there as Bentley and then you're good. Hover across here. One thing Bentley's good for is his 
is a rocket wheelchair. It gets better too when you get like those extra jets so it can fly longer. Oh geez, I did not see that. I'm just going to go over here because I don't think Bentley can take one of those big guards. Not very easily anyways. I'll go on top of here. Oh, that was... How do you like that bomb, sir? Not very much. Okay. Over here with all these green kangaroos. wonder if Bentley feels at home with these green kangaroos. Since he's also green. But he's supposed to be green. Only makes sense. So, now every member of the gang has talked to Guru. Noticed. And Bentley's talking to him. Really have to pee. <laughs> Wish I could skip cutscenes. Godzooks! Oh, jeez. Time's up for the raffle in three minutes. Or how about two minutes, because I should probably announce the winner of the raffle while I'm still on the stream. And this is... Um, uh, hold L1 to disappear, okay. This is going to be my last uh, planned uh, stream for this event, uh, my stream time, so, oops, I guess that works. So, uh, I had a lot of fun doing this. Um, I can't hit anything with the Guru, I just noticed. Just uh, the variety of games. I got to play Uncharted 2, I got to play Deadlocked, and now I'm getting to play this. And for charity, it's been super awesome. And so have you guys. It's really awesome to uh, be able to come in and, and stream when you know that you're going to have uh, this much support in the chat. And you can totally tell just by how many donations we've gotten. So... I will definitely be uh, doing this again for 5 Day Gamer 6 if they'll have me back. And uh, hopefully we can get to a thousand, so... Looks like, yeah, it looks like we're at time, so... Um, you want to check the donation page, Joe, and then we will... We will figure this out. while the guru and Bentley talk. Oh, geez. Wow, thank you, sir. Alright, so it looks like we've got two people entered. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, pick a winner here. Random, there we go. So, uh, let's see. I'm just going to do a coin flip, and um, so J Feather donated first. So J Feather, you want heads or tails? Tails, okay. And we've got heads. So, uh, Void, I believe you uh, won the raffle. Good job. I am going to cut the stream now so the next person can go on, but I will be in the comment section in just a second to get your uh, info so I can get you that prize. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Again, I'm Bridget, a.k.a. Blazefur, over on YouTube if you want to check that out. Uh, and 
I had fun, and I'll see you guys next time. So thank you for watching.